everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to crochet the corner to corner stitch. I really enjoy to make this stitch, especially it is great for towels and the dishcloths and a lot more. So let's just get started. The very first thing we have to do is to make a slip knot. And to start my first row, I'm going to make six chains. So I'm going to yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through, six times. I'm now going to skip the first three chains and here into the fourth chain from the hook, I'm going to make a double crochet. I'm now going to make a double crochet into the next two chains. So one, and two. And this is what my first row looks like. I am now going to turn my work to start row two. And to start row two, I will again chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Again, I will skip the first three chains and here into the fourth chain from the hook, I'm going to make a double crochet. And I will also make a double crochet into the next two chains. And as you can see, I already have my first little square here in row two. And for row two, I will have two little squares. So I am going to skip these three double crochet stitches and into my chain space that you can see right here, I'm going to make a slip stitch. I am now going to make three chains. One, two, three. And into my chain space here, I'm going to make three double crochet. One, two, and three. And I have now finished my second row and it actually looks like a little heart. And I'm now ready to start row three. And to start row three, I'm going to turn and chain six. Just as I did before, I'm going to skip the first three chains and work a double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. And again, I will make a double crochet into the next two chains. Again, I'm going to skip these three double crochets from the previous row and work a slip stitch into the chain space that you can see right here. Then I will make three chains and three double crochet into the chain space. Okay. 
Again, I'm going to skip the three double crochet and make a slip stitch into the chain space that you can see right here. Then I will make three chains and three double crochet into the same chain space. And that was the end of row three, where I have these three little squares. I am now ready to start row four. And to do that, I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to chain six. And I will continue to make row four in exactly the same way that I made the two previous rows. Only I will have four little squares in my row. just going to continue in this way until I am satisfied with the size of my little sample. of row 6 I am satisfied with both the length and the width of my little square. So now I'm not going to make any more increasing rows, I am now going to make some decreasing rows to make the other part of my square. So I'm going to turn my work and instead of making my 6 chains as I normally do, I'm going to make a slip stitch into the next 3 double crochet from the previous row. And into my chain space right here, I'm going to do exactly as I did in the previous rows. I will make a slip stitch, three chains, and three double crochet into the same chain space. The row we are going to make it a little bit different than we did in the increasing rows. We will now just make a slip stitch into the chain space and turn our work. And into our three double crochet from the previous row we are going to make a slip stitch. And here you can see that we have just made our corners here in our square. And I am just going to continue this process of row 7 until I am completely done with my little sample. Here 
at the end of the row, we will again make a slip stitch into the chain space, turn our work, and make a slip stitch into the three double crochet stitches from the previous row. And we will just continue until we get to the very last corner. And to finish off my very last corner here, I'm just going to make a slip stitch into the chain space that you can see right here. And I'm just going to fasten off by pulling my loop here and putting my yarn tail into the loop and tightening my yarn. And that is how you make the corner to corner stitch. I really hope you enjoyed this video and uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye bye.